What's up guys, we're out here at Nova Tropicals just outside of Washington DC to check out this awesome local fish store. Let's go check it out. This is episode three of the Cichlid Bros trip to Washington DC. After seeing some of the sights around the city, we filmed an awesome interview with Mike Ellerby discussing how aquariums have saved his mental health from his time in the military and things like combat issues, PTSD, and other traumatic life events. We'd highly recommend checking that out if you haven't already. The link is in the description below. Episode two was a full tour of his fish room where we saw 15 cichlid tanks, including some big, colorful, and even some rare cichlids. And then next, Mike took us to his local fish store where he gets most of his fish and supplies. He came along with us, so you may see him in some of the clips showing us around. We also heard there was an incredible display tank here, so we knew we had to check it out. Before we get to that aquarium though, here are just a few of my favorite cichlids and oddballs from the store. There was a large tank with a big common pleco, some albino bichers, and even an albino clown knife. Right away, I knew this store was worth filming and showcasing. They had a ton of cichlids, which is my usual barometer for how good a fish store is. Here they had some Zingu Pike cichlids along with Jack Dempsey's and some really good looking albino Oscars. I'm going to let Quinn walk through some of the cichlids later in the video, but here are a few others that stuck out to me. This beautiful green terror was a bit camera shy but had great color and size. Then they had this Geophagus and Severum tank and if you know me at all, you know this is my favorite. Large Geophagus finni are pretty hard to come by. And this one was a great size, and all of these fish just looked healthy to us throughout the store. The aisle here has some good looking discus and a few plecos, and then down below some extra large angelfish in one tank, and some smaller angels in the other. Right next to that was a really cool setup for live plants, with a big selection and a big piece of driftwood coming up out of the water, which I thought was really cool. But I'm not going to hog the full video here. I'll pass it over to Alec to walk through this stunning cichlid display tank. Their kind of centerpiece showstopper tank is this water box 500 gallon of all the different Malawi, Mbuna, peacocks, and haps. So their stock is just amazing. The size on these things, like they got some Mbuna that are bigger than the peacocks and some of the haps. They got predator haps, common haps, OBs, regular peacocks. They even got uh, Tanganyikan fish in here that is so rare you'll never see it on in fish stores or even online. So we'll start with the biggest ones. So the dark black ones are actually uh, one back here is the living stone eye swimming towards the front here. It looks a lot like mine. And then one in the very back that's black. That's actually very similar looking and similar size to the living stone eye, but that's actually a bumblebee abuna that they have a few of in here. And if we could find like right here, that's kind of a medium sized bumblebee. They also got a little bit bigger one here. Bumblebees are bright yellow. They use see a lot of times in the fish store, but then as they get older, they become almost fully black. I like this guy right here. Yep, that's another bumblebee. So they got a pretty good group of bumblebee cichlids. They also got a real nice group of Giovanni slash Mangano. You can see right here. There's one, they are massive and just really colored up. One thing you'll notice about this tank also is how calm all the fish are. They said they do deal with a little bit of aggression issues, but for the most part, this is a pretty peaceful tank and everybody's really colored up and looks great. Some examples of common haps here are like the Morai Blue Dolphin. Troy has a couple of these guys. These are some full grown specimen here with a nice big nuchal hump on the forehead. And then you got some OB peacocks. Hold on, what is, who's this guy poking out right here? That's the Tanganyikan that'll get about two feet long that is so rare. So this is the first time we've ever even seen one of these, correct? Correct. OBs in here as well? Yeah, some OB peacocks, I think some OB dragon bloods, some OB uh, Ali's, which is a common hap. Down here we got the deep water hap. I have one of those. It's about half the size of mine, but it is fully colored up. It looks pretty awesome. That's another common hap. It can really hold its own with some of the bigger guys. There's one of those massive Mbuna I'm talking about. And if you go all the way to the middle in the back here, 
one of the biggest fish in here. Yeah, that guy is sweet. Just an absolute beast. And one of the most noticeable things about this tank to me is, as a tall guy, I love tanks that are tall, and this thing is, my eye level is still beneath the water level, so that's really awesome. You can just walk back and forth and see every square inch of this tank. And how many gallons did you say this was? This is a 500 gallon water box. Wow. So in here, this is kind of the African cichlid stocking room where they got a pretty good organization and a good selection of fish. Where over here, this kind of row is their mbuna row from bigger to smaller. And they go peacocks here. They got a lot of OBs. They got all the best selection. They got a lot of assorted Mbuna that are all different colors. They got the OBs that fly off the shelves that are really good looking at a young age. And then over here, they kind of save these for some specialist cichlids, kind of like Star Sapphire, uh, the Morai Blue Dolphin, uh, or maybe some Tanganyikans when they get them. And then over here we got some haps. We even have some hybrids that are pretty cool. They think these were mixed with Venustus and living stone eye. A lot of these, these fish come in fully colored up and then as they kind of get used to each other, they color down a little bit, but. And then up top here, we have just assorted haps, mostly common haps, Taiwan reefs, red empress. See a couple dolphins in there. Just a really good, African cichlid selection for a local fish store. Sure. It looks like we got some decor back here as well. They got everything you need. It's kind of a one-stop shop for setting up an uh, African cichlid tank of any size or Central American cichlid for that matter. Um, they got your rocks, your shells, your sand, all different colors. They got all different kinds of rocks, all different kinds of driftwood. And here we just got a pan of a bunch of nano community fish. Uh, they really do have all shapes and sizes. Anything you need for your aquariums. All right, so now we're in my favorite section of the store. These are more of the Central and South American cichlids. Starting off, we have some pretty unique ones here. We have an electric blue Jack Dempsey's. And then underneath here, uh, we have kind of this hybrid tank with some vampire crab. We got a Lima shuttle nose. They are pretty unique fish there. What is this? That's an arowana. Oh shit. This oh. is one of the crowd favorites of the aquarium hobby. We have an actual arowana here. Uh, this thing's only about five, six inches. It's got some color to it. It's just a silver, but it's got some reds in there. Really cool. Now we have uh, some Jack Dempsey's and some Firemouth in this tank. I love getting fish, especially Central and South Americans around this size because you can really watch them grow and see the evolution of their color. Then we move it on here, we have uh, some Firemouths that are actually showing some pretty good color and one that holds a special place in my heart. I just wish they weren't so dang aggressive. The Salvini, look at that guy's color already. Like and subscribe and tell Quinn he needs to get a Salvini. Thank Guys, you. I want to so bad, but they're just so mean. We got some red tail catfish that are only a couple inches long, but at full growth, they will be about the size of this aquarium as it is. These things get absolutely massive. In about two days, they'll be double that size. That's how fast they grow. And then rounding out, we have a tank of some peacock bass. Uh, overall, a really good selection of cichlids uh, in this store. The store really kind of has all aspects of the hobby uh, pretty much down pat, so highly recommending it so far. And although we love to highlight cichlids and freshwater, we definitely had to mention that they have a great saltwater section as well. They had your standard cardinal fish and some good looking tangs and some small triggers. They also had a big saltwater display right when you walk in, and this thing looked amazing in person. I didn't have my orange lens with me, but hopefully you can still see the pristine condition of this tank and the large healthy corals. I can't remember seeing a reef tank of this size that was also this clean. It also had a clownfish hosting an anemone, which was awesome, and you may see in my new saltwater tank I've been considering getting clowns and anemones for something like this.
And just a quick view of some of the coral and frag tanks in the middle of the store, you can see they have some extra large pieces and overall a good selection. I forgot to mention that Nova Tropicals was also a premium water box dealer, so they supply a lot of quality tanks in the area, along with the fish and the supplies. Overall, it was a great local fish store, and we were happy that Mike pointed us in this direction. It was awesome to see a good selection of cichlids and some rare species, and of course, to see that beautiful display tank. So we just had an awesome tour of that local fish store, but that's not the last video from Washington, D.C. to come. Stay tuned for the next video. It's a big one.